this is a master craftsman and you can see that he he has on his workbench lots and lots of different tools and hanging up on the wall same thing and there's a tool for every possible thing he's going to possibly encounter there I have to believe, and I challenge you to believe this as well, that he did not start his craft with this amount of tools. I have to believe that it looked more like this in the beginning. This is obviously a subset of the tools he had on his on his desk over there, but this is how people get started when they're first starting a new craft. Actually, even these tools might be too much. I wonder if it looks more like this. This, this is a much smaller set of tools, but... This is really how you start out when you're first starting a new craft, a new industry. You start with a small set of tools and you work your way forward. This same exact philosophy can be said when you're starting to work with RDI. Because when you first open up RDI, you are getting an entire collection of tools far beyond what you need just to get started. When you are first coming from PDM... I believe the quickest way to get productive on RDI is to make it act like PDM. We have the PDM perspective. And as you can see over here, this looks very much like PDM. Here's my option one, option two, option three. Work with members right there. If I want to see all members that begin with letter Z, for example, I can come here, put letter Z with an asterisk, hit apply, and the list will be populated right there. In this option column right here, I can put the same options that I would put into PDM. For example, if I want to edit that, I can say 2. I'll press enter, and RDI will now download that, which it just did. I can double click to make that bigger right there. And I'm just going to open up this outline view, which will give me a 10,000 foot view of the program. The outline view does understand the constructs of RPG language, as you can see, and it's it's very nicely broken up and summarized this this program into different components files data structures fields constants and, and the list goes on and on sub procedures and from here I can easily click on anything to navigate for example if I want to go right to this routine right here I'll pick one out pick one randomly just click on that I'm brought right to that routine which is very nice but even that notwithstanding let's go back to just basic source code editing basic source code editing. So immediately I'm brought into this tokenized screen, which means that it's colorized. It understands the different syntax of RPG and COBOL, and it will colorize the screen appropriately. So if I want to come here and type in usage update, just like I did a file above it, I can do that, and it will, it will accept that keyword. I can also come down here I'll come down to the D specs, for example, and I can use a, my plain old my plain old SCU command. I'll type in RP4 to give myself four blank lines. I can type in declare standalone field like that. I can press Control Space, and that will give me Content Assist. If I say Field One Content Assist, which is Control Space, I get a drop down and all the keywords that would be appropriate here will appear in this drop down. I can click on any one of them and they will be brought directly into the line right there. But for now, I'll just say char 5. I'll come down like that. I'll do that. Same with uh, SCU. If I type in DD and DD over here, delete it. If I'm an SCU, oops, I'm kind of in a, in a bind right now because I, I can't bring that back easily in RDI or in the LPEX editor. I can press Control Z and I'm right back to where I was. Even if I just used RDI for this and did nothing else, if I even went back to my green screen and did my compiles, did my debugging, which will accept the new free from RPG, SDA, anything I want, I can still do that from the green screen, but this is a good way to, for you to get started with RDI. Just simply use it as an editor. That is the best way to get started. Absolutely. So now I'm going to switch to SCU, just to give you one one more quick equivalent of what I just did over here. Before I do that, I just want to point out that I'm going to put in the comments of this video a link which will link to all of my RDI videos. I have a playlist created in there on my channel, and it'll be a very quick way for you to jump into there. So let's go into SCU so you can, you can PDM so you can see the, what I just did. I'll, I'll retrace my steps and see how I did that in SCU. 
Welcome to PDM. Here is that same screen I just showed you in RDI. I'll put a Z over here to get all of the members that begin with letter Z. Here they are. I'll come here, put a 2, and no tokenization. <laughs> Let's see if I can do that same thing with this line. I'll come over here and I will type in usage update and put a semicolon there and it's flagging it as an invalid line. Why is that? That's because, of course, SCU has not been updated for these freeform instructions. SCU is still stuck in 6.1 land, so it doesn't quite understand that. Also, I can't scroll. I must page, which is what I'm doing right now. I'll come to that same section of code where I was before, which was right around here. I'll type in RP4. You can see it there. And I want to get to that line. So how do I get there? I must type in the line number to go to my top over here. Whoops. Just like that. There, there I am. So now I'll type in declare-s. Type in field 1. I'll press control space for content assist. I'm not getting that. And also there's no outline view on the right side for me to navigate in my code. So that's, that's not the best either. But in any event, here is char 5 semicolon and doesn't like that either and certainly if I come over here and type in dd and I put dd over here it's deleted and now I press control z which I'm doing right now and I can't get that there either so obviously it has some issues with this I said it before the entire point of this exercise is just get into RDI just use the LPEX editor by itself and already you will begin getting great in productivity enhancements that you don't have right now. You can still come to the screen, do your compiles, do everything else you want to do that you need to do, and slowly, like that the craftsman you saw earlier, start with a basic set of tools and navigate up. And slowly, as you become more comfortable with the tool set, get into more advanced things. I promise you the editor has a ton of features, far surpasses SCU. And this is the best way to get started.